What's your name, where are you from, and why are you here today? My name is Valerie, I'm from Toronto, Canada, and I'm here just for pleasure in, in Las Vegas. And Peter, from Toronto, is here on a vacation. Now, I heard just recently, coming out of Canada, there was a proposal to decriminalize all drugs. Is that why you guys have left the country? <laughs> I think there's more drugs here than in Canada. <laughs> I think I've seen more drugs on this street than I have on Young Street. And you smell it here walking down now, right? Or it's gunk. <laughs> so I think they're talking about decriminalizing like small quantities of possession, not giving a pass to everyone who's a dealer or um, such as such. Like we do here. Yeah, well, okay. Right, so what do you think of this proposal, sir? What do we propose? Well, no, what do you think of that proposal? Yeah, <laughs> well, it, it'll take like 20 years to happen. So, you know, it's, it's not going to... Right now, it's going to happen for marijuana. Yeah, the marijuana will happen, but uh, the other drugs it won't happen for another 20 years. Well, would you be for it or against it if the proposal right now was straight to decriminalize all drugs at the individual usage scale? Totally for it. Well, small amounts for, for individuals is fine. There's too many people in the... In the the, the justice system that don't belong there. We're just overcrowding it and they shouldn't be in jail either. That's not helping them. They're, so, they're learning worse things in jail. So do you support this just from a matter of practical policy or is there like a, a principle behind it for you? We don't want our police officers spending time doing this. They've got bigger criminal things to attack. Like that's a waste of their time and they know that every time they go and arrest these people and they put them in, you know, they think they're going to go to jail. They don't. They get kicked out of the system or they're young and they get and in Canada, you're all part of the Young Offenders Act, and, and that doesn't stick. So you're just wasting police officers' time. And your taxpayers' money, of course. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so do you believe that for an individual, that it's, it's a right that you have as a human being to decide what you put in your own body? Well, it depends on your age. Yeah, I don't know if I'd go that far, but... <laughs> I mean, you know, then you'd be talking about, uh, you know, poisons and euthanasia and, you know, all kinds of other stuff. Uh, and, you know, the government's looking at all that and we've legalized part of it in Canada already. But, uh, you know, it still takes some more studying to look at. Yeah. Are you suggesting that it should be illegal to take your own life to poison yourself? Drug assisted suicide? Yeah. No, I don't think that's illegal, but it needs to be regulated and you have to have the right counsel. Well, hold on, but, but you were saying that those are, so are the things that, that it should be regulated, right? I mean, or, or, or should people have the right just absolutely to put what they want in their own bodies, even if it's poison? We've just recently allowed euthanasia, you know, as long as it's under certain conditions. So I think you still need some regulation over that, as opposed to people just randomly, you know, killing themselves and, and their relatives to get rid of them. <laughs> well, if, if you wanted to just kill yourself, you could, you could do it anyway, right? No law is going to stop you. No regulation is going to prevent you from doing that, right? It seems kind of silly to make it illegal to, to drink bleach. <laughs> <laughs> right? I think it actually is illegal to kill yourself. <laughs> well, what do they do with you? <laughs> I think it actually kind of is illegal, yeah. If you, if you kill yourself, we are going to put you in a very small box and lock you away for a very long time. I mean, I don't think that scares anybody. But uh, about the principle here of, of it being a universal right to do what you want with your own body, do you think people should be able to do whatever drugs they want? The problem is not them doing wow, the drugs. The problem is thing. where it comes from and, and the whole process of, of you know, where, where do the drugs come from? How do they get into the country? Who's selling them? And it, it's just too complicated. What's, what's the behavior after the drugs are taken? <laughs> so it's, so it's, we should, it's, like it's, alcohol, right? Because Alco well, yeah. I mean, you guys are doing drugs right now. Right. And this is like, uh, in terms of the harm index of all drugs compared, alcohol, you guys are not put you on the spot. I'm glad you have a good Canadian sense of humor about this. Yeah. But <laughs> so now we're going to start selling the marijuana in, in our liquor stores up in Canada. So, I mean, that's going to be highly regulated as well. So, so but, but does, should you be able to decide what drugs are, are okay for you to consume, or should government say, well, you can do this drug and this drug and this drug, but you can't do that drug and you can't do that drug? Uh, wh wh which, is, which is the answer here? Uh, we never thought that far in advance. Yeah. I really don't know. But we basically decide and get the politicians to uh, make the laws in favor of it. And then force the decision on everybody, even if they disagree, right? It sounds terrible. Like, obviously, we must have the drugs we want or we would have an opinion about it. You know what I mean? Like, 
So if drugs are popular enough, they become legal. <laughs> That's what I think. So if they're unpopular, but, but shouldn't people have a right to do a drug, even if it's unpopular, if they're not hurting anybody? Yeah, but not if, you know... Usually they are hurting someone. Well, then you make the hurting people illegal, not the, the doing the drug part. Oh, okay. Never thought of it that way? No. Yeah, but where do the drugs come from? You're going to have, like, motorcycle gangs and uh, all these guys, you know, cooking up meth all over the place. Not if it's legal. Because then, see, then, if it's legal, all the, all the dangers with production and trafficking go away, too. So you guys, you guys are like beautifully in the right direction here, and it's awesome, right? Most people are at this point where we're just like, you know what? We really don't want to interfere with people's private lives. You know, we don't want to waste government money, like you said. But I, you know, I hope you would just consider that that we, the people, should be leading government, not letting it lead us, and and having to give up this part of its racket because people finally demand it. We should be able to step in and say, on principle, no, government should have nothing to do with our personal health, drug, recreation, whatever decisions that that we all have to make with our own bodies. I'm willing to keep an open mind on all of that. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> Enjoy your drug of choice today here in Las Vegas. <laughs> no, I feel guilty. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you should enjoy it that much more confident that it is your right to enjoy that freedom. Okay. Even in the United States. <laughs> Thanks, we'll guys. Thank you to YouTube for hosting this video and for being an essential part of human progress by making video hosting available worldwide to everyone on the internet. However, the next phase in human progress is here with Steemit.com and their video hosting alternative blockchain-based solutions, including DTube. And you can find that through Steemit.com as well as my own page there, at Adam Kokesh. This is a decentralized blockchain-based social media network that pays you fairly for your content. Already, I'm regularly making more there with a single post than I do from an entire month on YouTube. So please join us on the next frontier of the information revolution at steamit.com. And if you want help getting a leg up there, I'm happy to re-steam your post and make sure that no one is starting from scratch. Just email me one of your favorite posts at adam at and we'll share it on my feed.